if I in a jawful, lead loyal to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in Ambikanu has lamented that the operatives of the Department of State Service, DSS, prevented a British consul and a former governor of Anambra State, Chukwemeka Ezefe, from seeing the IPOB leader in detention. The lawyer stated that the action of the DSS on Thursday was a clear violation of the subsisting order of the court. He said the secret police officer had earlier on Monday denied IPOP's American lawyer, Bruce Finn, from seeing Kano when he visited, you know, with the legal team. The IPOP leader's lawyer disclosed that DSS officials said the American lawyer and British diplomats were foreigners, adding that this contradicted the court order that stated the Honorable Court proceeded to order in his ruling that henceforth three persons of their client's choice should be allowed to visit him. The lawyer added that his lordship further clarified that the person to visit our clients are no longer restricted to his lawyer and family members but any other three of his clients choice that is any other three of our clients choice will be permitted to also see him not only his family members now a job for reveal this in a statement on the update of Kano's legal representatives routine visits to him on Thursday, which was made available to our reporters. He tied to the statement, Lawless Department of State Security Service, DSS, denied British Consul and His Excellency Dr. Chukwemeka Izefe access to Mazi in Amdikano today in clear violation of the subsisting order of the court. The statement reads, Today's routine visit to our infatigable client Oyendu Mazi Namdikano could not hold because the detaining authorities DSS deliberately denied the above named persons access to our client. Recall that the Honorary Court seized of this case had on 21st day of October 2021 expanded the number of persons that could visit our client on any of the designated days scheduled for his routine visit. The Honorable Court proceeded to order, you know, in his ruling that henceforth three persons of our client's choice should be allowed to visit him. Its Lordship further clarified that the persons to visit our clients are no longer restricted to these lawyers and family members, but any other person of their client's choice. In line with this order of court, we forwarded the list of names scheduled to visit our clients on Monday 25th of October 2021, which included attorney Bruce Finn, our client's international attorney and legal representative of, you know, a legal representative in the United States of America, pardon. Attorney Finn arrived in Nigeria from the United States of America to witness the court proceedings of the 21st day of October 2021 and also utilized the opportunity of the visit to interface with his client, Oyendu Mazi Inamdikanu. Unknown to us, a rude shock awaits us at the DSS. Upon the arrival at the DSS headquarters on Monday, 25th October 2021, for the scheduled routine visit, the detaining authorities did not stop at keeping us waiting for well over two hours. But after, you know, thereafter, specifically told us that no foreigners, including Bruce Finn, will be allowed to visit our client, and as such, he would not participate in the visit. The renowned international constitutional human rights lawyer was not allowed, you know, it was not only disappointed, pardon, with the authority concern, but was shocked at the brazen manner in which the Nigerian court ordered, you know, 
the Nigerian court orders are flouted with impunity by those whose primary mandate is to protect and preserve these laws and maintain order. Attorney Bruce Finn consequently left the premises of the DSS visibly broken. Apparently, he has gathered enough to feed the international community upon his return to the United States. Today was the return of the British Consul to experience what the civilized society may refer to as the height of abnormality in the system. The innocent woman who flew all the way from Lagos on this special diplomatic engagement was denied access to our clients and told that she is not welcome for the visit because he is a foreigner. His Excellency Dr. Chukwemeka Izefe, who was denied access to the courtroom at the last court sitting, was also denied access to our client today without offering any reasons. Height of impunity indeed. It is important to point out here that the order of court with regard to the number of persons and class of persons allowed to visit our client never restricted them to Nigerians only. It is more so that this clarification was made by his lordship following a specific complaint to the court that attorney Bruce Finn was not only denied access to our client on two occasions at the DSS headquarters but was not allowed inside the courtroom on 21st October 2021. If his lordship intention was to restrict foreigners from visit our client, the court would have simply made it clear while responding to our application for clarification. Having described the DSS action as the height of impunity for flouting court's order, Ejiofo vowed that he would see that justice prevail for his client to be transferred to a correctional facility. Though, we have promptly filled another application for the transfer of our client to the correctional center predicted on an entirely new set of facts. It is now crystal clear to the world that if the DSS is allowed to remain the custodian of our client, there shall certainly be a gross denial of fair hearing and fair trial in these proceedings. We will equally be initiating content proceeding against the head of the DSS for this gross violation of court order. Order of the court must be obeyed, you know, obeyed regardless pardon, of the status of the persons involved or the agency affected by the order. What is your thoughts to this? Even though the DSS has a history of violating, you know, or violating or probably faulting court order with impunity, we will pursue for the court to step in, in this case, and protect the you know, sanctity of its orders. Enough is enough. What is your thoughts to this? We would like you to let us know your own point of view concerning the spent situation of things. We have seen that the lawyer stated that the action of the DSS on Thursday was a clear violation of the subsisting order of the court. Imagine how the Department of State Service but the British diplomats, the American lawyer, and the ex-governor from seeing detained in Andy Kanu, according to what the lawyer have said. Who would like to share your thoughts with us on this before for Goles people's reactions and know their thoughts about this? Wasakai Mecca reacted to this and said, Can you see the reason why Biafra agitators will not stop agitating? This is the reason why people are fed up with Nigeria. The intimidation is just too much. On Biafra, we have said it many times, we are not one in this country, so divide this country for us. Let us go our separate ways. That's what Emeka have said. That it has been said time without numbers that we are not one. Divide this country for us. What is your thoughts to this? DSS and terrorism is really hitting up this country. We would like you to let us know your thoughts on this. Don't forget that we have seen how the Department of State Service, but the British diplomat, the American lawyer, the ex-governor from seeing detained in Amdekanu according to what the lawyer have said. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.